Hey everyone, it's Brad Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channels. Pleasantly surprised what I saw this morning with my Calgary Flames. The Calgary Flames, they are definitely your buyers. They're approaching the NHL trade deadline, which is still five weeks away. But it's rumored that's come true that the Calgary Flames, apparently we were in on the sweepstakes with Tyler Toffoli with the well, Montreal Canadiens and the Calgary Flames did actually make a trade with the Montreal Canadiens and I'm going to say with this actual trade it's definitely better than what rumored trades that we saw from you know bloggers and armchair general managers but how the trade goes is the Calgary Flames do acquire Tyler Toffoli from the Montreal Canadiens. Going off to the Montreal Canadiens is forward Tyler Pitlick who hasn't really panned out here in Calgary when we acquired him in the well originally he was plucked in the Seattle Kraken expansion draft as the Arizona Coyotes and then Calgary traded a fourth round pick in this upcoming draft to get Tyler Pitlick from the Seattle Kraken and then Emil Hinman if you remember that name sort of sounds familiar. Well, Emil Hinman was the player, or prospect, I should say, we acquired from the Florida Panthers last year's NHL trade deadline when we sent Sam Bennett to the Florida Panthers. So, Tyler Pitlick and Emil Hinman and a couple draft picks as the Calgary Flames will be giving up their first round pick in 2022. Let's note that that pick is a top 10 protected, but seeing how the Calgary Flames are going right now, it would be a big disappointment if we are picking in the top 10, because I expect this team to make the playoffs, especially after this acquisition. And not only make the playoffs, but go further than the first round. <clears throat> and then the last pick was a fourth round pick, or I think it's a fourth or a fifth round pick in 2024. And then if the pick was the top 10, then it would get pushed off a year later, similar to the Jack Eichel trade. No, it's a fifth round pick actually in 2023, so yeah, I'm going to say it's a pretty good haul for the Calgary Flames to get Tyler to fully. We traded away two Tyler's in this trade, just realized that we got Tyler to like, go into the Montreal Canadiens, it would be a useful player that they he could play right now with the Montreal Canadiens, but the Calgary Flames were definitely looking for some more secondary scoring on the wing, and Tyler Toffoli definitely provides that. He has scored 20 goals in five seasons as well. He has won a Stanley Cup with the Los Angeles Kings in 2014 with Daryl Sutter as head coach, and he's also familiar with Milan Lucic and Trevor Lewis as well, who's on the team right now. And then if you might forget that last season, the Montreal Canadiens actually went to the Stanley Cup Finals. With Tyler Toffoli, but the Montreal Canadiens definitely have been, uh, didn't expect them to be this bad this season, and they're definitely selling off some assets, and this definitely sets the market. I'm going to say for teams that are not only selling, but buying. And then, of course, the other thing with Emil Hinman is the fact that he has actually not signed. He's not signed to any NHL team as of this recording, so it's another prospect that may or may not work out. And of course, we don't know how the picks work out down the road, but I'm going to say right now, today, as we are five weeks out from the trade deadline, currently the Calgary Flames on a six game winning streak, one point behind the Vegas Golden Knights with three games in hand for first in the Pacific Division. I like this move for getting some scoring right now for the Calgary Flames without giving up much. And Tyler Pitlick has been spending a lot of time as a healthy scratch for much of the season anyway. So, because he only had two assists, if I look at his stats right now with uh, the cap friendly, that the Tyler Pitlick, he has only played actually 25 games with the Calgary Flames and has two assists with a minus five and 
to Helimet, while Tara Toffoli right now going to the Calgary Flames. He apparently is going to wear number 73. For the Calgary Flames this season with the Montreal Canadiens, he has 37 games played. He has 9 goals, 17 assists for 26 points. And he has a my seat in four penalty minutes. But last year with the Montreal Canadiens in 52 games, he had 28 goals and 16 assists for 44 points and 24 penalty minutes. And then in the playoffs, when the Stanley Cup final run for the Montreal Canadiens, Tyler Foley in 22 games, he had five goals, nine assists for 14 points. So definitely heard a lot of whining from the Vancouver Canucks fans when they couldn't keep Tyler Foley in the mix when they acquired him a couple of years ago at the deadline to try to load up. And it was definitely a much, much bigger price to pay, but uh, that's why I say for the trade right now, I like it. But speaking of, you know, the Vancouver Canucks not being able to maybe hang on to Tyler Toffoli because of other contract commitments they have on the roster. They had a couple bad contracts. See Louis Erickson, for example, about the Calgary Flames. Because Tyler Toffoli, you could say we bought him at the head of the trade deadline, but he is still signed for two more years. With the Calgary Flames at 4.25 million dollars for next season and the season after. So it's not like we sold too much to get a player that might not be here when free agent frenzy begins. But the Calgary Flames are now right up against the cap because they're adding $4.25 million coming to the Calgary Flames, although $1.75 million when cap space is going to the Montreal Canadiens, so that we added about $2.5 million in cap space for the rest of the year, but the Calgary Flames have like just under $200,000 in cap space. But keep in mind that this upcoming season, we got Johnny Goodrow, who needs to be signed, as he's an unrestricted free agent. And then you got restricted free agents in Matt Kachuk, who's going to at least get $9 million from the our qualifying offer, and then Andrew Mangiapane, and don't forget Oliver Shillington, he's also a restricted free agent. So, Hopefully, this trade that we get right now to load up for the playoffs won't hurt the Calgary Flames' chances of retaining, resigning some assets that we need to sign after the season, regardless how far we go into the playoffs. But I'm expecting the Calgary Flames to at least not only make the playoffs, at least get out the first round. But I am also tempering my expectations because I still remember in 2009 the trade deadline when the Calgary Flames acquired Ole Jokinen and Jordan Leopold, all the hockey players said, that's it, the Calgary Flames, they won the trade deadline. They're going on a run to only lose in the first round to the Chicago Blackhawks that year. We were banged up on the blue line, but we did soften up the Chicago Blackhawks that were a year away from going on to start their cup runs, but... That's what it is right now. I have to say right now, I like the move for what we gave up. Compared to uh, Pundit saying we were going to trade Sean Monaghan in the first for Tara Toffoli and maybe throw one out of Rajitska, or I saw another, someone suggested maybe a first in Jacob Belchi, player we drafted in the first round in 2019. For Tara Toffoli, I'm going to say this pick definitely Works out better because we trade away a player that hasn't really panned out and spent more time up in the press box or at least half the season up to this point. He'll get some playing time likely in Montreal now. A prospect that was still not signed. Heard some upside, but who knows, maybe he indicated Emil Heyman talking about, maybe indicated that he wasn't too sure about uh, signing. And then, of course, those draft picks. You just don't know what happens to those draft picks and who what they get used for or what the Montreal Canadiens could still use because they're definitely in a seller's mold, but I'm going to say it sets the market for uh, teams that are buying and selling. And I just say, what do you think of this trade for the, the Calgary Flames? And what do you think of the trade for the Montreal Canadiens on both sides? I'm going to say this is definitely fulfills the need for the Calgary Flames to get some scoring on the wings, some secondary scoring. 
It's definitely the right time right now without really disrupting too much. And the fact that he's coming in, familiar with the coach and a few other players that he's went to war and won with. I don't see anything wrong with this deal. Just hope we can uh, be able to retain some of our assets when it's free agent frenzy for this upcoming season. So anyways, I'd like to say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, all the Flames have been roughnecks since Stampeders. I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my channel, YouTube channel, and let's say where I recapped games and stories, and this definitely was a big enough story to talk about, as the Calgary Flames acquired Tyler Toffoli from the Montreal Canadiens, and sometimes these rumors we hear actually happen, and actually we get the player, as opposed to almost scan the player. See Jack Eichel earlier this season, maybe based it on rumors when the Buffalo Sabres eventually traded Jack Eichel to the Vegas School Knights. Of course, he had to go to Vegas, and I guess he is going to finally make his debut with the Vegas School Knights in a couple nights, same time when Tyler Toffoli will make his debut with the Calgary Flames, so serve notice for the uh, Pacific Division, shall we say. But I also do a variety of non-sports content like personal vlogs, attempt to comedy. I also do share my experience sitting on the road or a sport event. So if that all sounds like be interesting to watch, to follow along this Calgary Sports fan's journey, you know what you do, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe. I also have my other social links down in the description below for always follow me. Of course, I also appreciate like, subscribe on my second channel in Brett Hornby Shorts, where I exclusively put my short form content on that channel. So hopefully you like this. I produce some of my YouTube channels. So I was going to say, welcome to the Sea Red, Tyler Toffoli. Number 73 in the program. It'd be interesting to hear how we easily rattle off his name, but uh, I think Tyler Toffoli would be a great fit for the Calgary Flames, especially for the stretch drive, and he has signed for two more seasons. So I was going to say welcome, and thanks for watching. Go Flames Go, and I'll see you in the next video.